Well, remember what it was like your senior year of high school? I can barely remember that. I don't know about <laughs> no. you. Anyway, the end is so close that you can taste it. Maybe a little senioritis kicks in. I do remember yeah. that. A senior at Seven Hills worked hard enough to warrant some time off, but he's not taking it. Instead, he's training harder than ever. Local 12 Sydney Benter went to see him in his element underwater. The swimming season has come and gone, and there are only a couple months before graduation, but Matthew Marquardt is still hitting the pool. It's been a big year, but he's not done yet. I was a part of the 200 medley relay that won. I set a new state record in the 100 backstroke and was a part of the 400 freestyle relay that set a new state record. Matthew helped lead Seven Hills to back-to-back -to -back state championships. It was our first team state championship in anything, so it, as a community, we really had a chance to celebrate um, having a, a team state championship and it was exciting for the whole, whole school. His name sits atop a series of swimming honors in the gym. There isn't a banner featuring his latest accomplishment though. He just qualified for the Olympic trials. He swam the 200 meter backstroke in two minutes, three seconds. When I looked up at the board at the, at the end of the race, I saw the time and I was incredibly excited. Matthew practices as much as eight times a week for two hours at a time. It's a major commitment, but he juggles it like a champ. He's been involved in a lot of other sports and um, been involved in other things, and I think that's been great. His life has not just been swimming. But for the next few months, if he isn't in school, he'll likely be in the water, preparing to swim with guys who are older and more experienced. To make it past the trials, Matthew says he'd need to shave six or seven seconds off his time. He thinks he's capable of about two or three, but for him, it's all about the experience. The ability to go to trials and um, learn from the best is um, kind of what, what makes it such a great opportunity. If the row doesn't lead to Rio this year, it's not the end of the world for Matthew. Visions of Tokyo 2020 are already swimming before his eyes. Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. What a great future he has. Mm -hmm. Matthew will be swimming for Princeton University next year. He plans to study chemistry and sustainable energy. Wow. He's got a plate full of stuff to do. Yes, he does. Him. We wish him all the best. I was a swimmer. That takes a lot of dedication to get to that level. So How was the walk? Him.